Hello. I see that you're back to work. Indeed. We were not bothered thanks to you. And here I can make myself useful. But I don't think you're here to ask about me. What can I do for you? What do the other scholars think of Dr. Asili now that his actions have been revealed for all to see? Most still admire him greatly. He is... was the greatest amongst us, you know? They didn't witness what was happening in the lab, and they have little interest in the natives. For them, the main problem is political, given that the war against the rebels cost us dearly. Until they understand the horrors that happened there, they will not have any moral issues. What is your purpose here? I help Dr. Anur to understand the research of my former master. He's the one who became his successor. I do hope that he doesn't use the same methods. Of course not. What about your other colleagues? What's become of them? They felt guilty. They stopped their experiments and returned to Al Saad. Are you prepared to testify against Dr. Asili? Yes. I kept silent for far too long about what was going on in that lab. I know what we did was wrong, and I do not want it to happen again. Thank you. Your story could change the outcome of this trial. I must leave you. What she saw working alongside a silly obviously upset her. She will make an excellent witness. Doctor... Doctor Honor, what do you want? What do you think of Doctor Asili now that you've learned how he conducted his research? Well, obviously the few excesses he has conceded himself are unfortunate, but he remains the greatest scientist that the Alliance has ever known. His work has had a profound effect on science. It seems quite unfair to me to reduce his life's work just to what he has done lately. If I understand correctly, you will be one of his defenders. Naturally. I don't deny that he made a terrible mistake, but he meant well. And he was probably acting on behalf of our helplessness to combat the Malachor. What is your role and what is your research topic? I'm in charge of the Governor's Laboratories. My main research concerns the Malachor, of course. Above all, we searched for a way to reduce the suffering of the sick. Searched? Now that we have access to my colleague Asili's work, it gives us hope of finding a cure. So the crimes he committed while conducting his work do not concern you? He will be judged for that. But it would be a shame for him to have done all this for nothing. Would you agree to speak at the trial? Your influence could be crucial. Oh, but I already intended to give a statement. His lawyer came to find me. So are you ready to defend a man who used to torture and murder to advance his research? Indeed. Because I think the entire work of a scientist should not be judged on a single mistake. It is obvious that he should not have used such methods, but a silly has never been very political. I doubt he understood the implications of his actions. So you're saying the only problem in this case is political? Essentially, yes. The war he nearly caused could have been expensive for our governor and the city. But let's not fool ourselves. No tears will be shed over the fate of a few of those bloodthirsty savages. What interest do you have in defending Dr. Asili? You've obviously taken his place since his arrest. I understand that you admired him a lot, but under his tutelage you could not really impose your own ideas. Well, now you finally have a chance to leave your own mark on history. You are not wrong, but I find it rather unlikely that he will be sentenced. I have gathered a lot of damning evidence against him, and with your testimony, 
I could finally publish my research on fountain contamination. Very well. You've convinced me. I will now testify for the prosecution. It is true that it's time to turn the page and leave his cruel methods behind. Thank you, Doctor. Dr. Anur is an influential scholar. His testimony would convince the judges. Hey! You are the Anol Minawi who freed us. We managed to reach Vikshadir. They told me what you did for them, Renaikse. Well done. I was able to give them the care they needed. Some wounds will take time to heal, but they are safe thanks to you. I'm happy to see that they're better. But you didn't come here for that, did you? No. I came to ask for your help. The doctor who captured and tortured you is about to be tried for his crimes. He has a lot of support among his people. He's a respected man despite what he did. If we don't have testimony from some of his victims, he will surely be released. You'll have our words. We'll go to the Grand City and tell our story. And the Mad Lion will die for causing so much harm to our people. May the Earth engulf him. You can return to Hikmet. I'll make sure they get there in good health. Thank you, Tiernach. And thank you all. I blame myself for forcing these poor people back to the city where they have suffered so much. You have returned, Your Excellency. Do you have any news on our matter? A naught victim of Dr. Asili agreed to testify at the trial. Excellent. This kind of testimony will certainly rattle his defense. The Islanders will testify at the trial. Their injuries will surely convince the judges. Indeed. But do bear in mind that the Islanders are not highly regarded in Hikmet. I managed to convince the scientists in the governor's laboratory to speak in our favor. Excellent. These are not direct witnesses, but if they denounce the doctor, we are sure to be heard. I even got a testimony from one of Dr. Asili's colleagues. Perfect. That will convince our scientists, and you know how important they are in Hikmet. Afra, one of Dr. Asili's former students, has agreed to testify. Excellent. This woman is very respected by the governor. Her statement will carry a lot of weight. I picked up a strange powder in the laboratory. A substance that I've not been able to identify. You should show it to an alchemist. We need to know what it is to be able to use it. I have found a letter proving that Dr. Asili voluntarily transmitted the Malachor to my cousin, Constantin Dorsey. I would like to add that I too was a victim of this poisoning. Did the accused try to take the life of the governor of New Serene? This is an extremely serious crime. Indeed. He saw my cousin and me as the ideal control group to prove his theories. And no humanitarian or diplomatic consideration could put a stop to his ambition. This letter alone is crucial proof. I will put it on our file. I'm going to continue my investigation. I believe our investigation is coming to an end. Let's find the prosecutor. You're back. I discovered this strange powder in one of the laboratory's chests. Do you know what it is? I did see the doctor using it once or twice, but I don't know what it is. But I can study it for you if you want. I have the tools that will allow me to do so here. So, what is it? It is a quintessence of black blood. Probably created using the blood of numerous patients. The doctor managed to harness the very concept of the Malachor in this powder. A single pinch ingested by someone would be enough for them to be afflicted by the disease. With the quantities that you brought me, hundreds of people could be contaminated. <sighs> it's terrifying. I cannot believe a silly would do such a thing. 
Here, these are my notes. I wrote down all the details of my experiments, as well as my conclusions. Thank you. I will relay them to the prosecutor. I must leave you. You have returned, Your Excellency. An alchemist studied the powder that we found in the laboratory. Apparently, it's some kind of concentrate made from the blood of several patients with the Malachor. It seems that less than a pinch of this powder is enough to contaminate whoever consumes it. There's enough here to make a small town sick. A terrifying thought. I will add the analysis and this powder to the evidence on record. You have gathered overwhelming evidence. The defense will have a hard time saving the accused. I think we can go to trial with confidence now. Will the trial begin soon? It seems to be the right time. Excellent investigation work. I think we have every chance of winning. Where will the trial be held? At the palace. I regret to inform you that you will not be able to attend. However, I'm sure the governor will keep you informed of the outcome of the proceedings. Madame, congratulations. The trial was exemplary. Asili's madness was exposed to the entire world. And you have demonstrated the horror of his methods. Thank you, Excellency. But all praise should be showered upon Sir Dasade. The evidence he supplied was irrefutable. It was necessary that you hear the victims, in order to understand the extremities to which your science has taken you. Come now. One cannot conclude that science was guilty here. Not science, but the savants were. It is never right to set aside humanity in the name of the common good. No knowledge justifies killing or torture. Your words are wise, and I promise to remember them. You have not always shown yourself a man of impeccable judgment, Excellency. We are all, from time to time, victim of our own blind enthusiasm, that is true. But this trial has shaken my usual resolve. It may very well change the course of history. Are you certain that you want to attend this? I do not want to attend. I must. Dr. Asili, you have been found guilty of all accusations brought against you. In consequence, the Bridge Alliance Tribunal condemns you to death. Do you have any final words? You treat me like a monster. But how many times have you stayed your own hands? So close to the goal to finally find a remedy, you would have done as I. What do a few lives mean when the future of all humanity hangs in the balance? You are nothing more than idiots, incompetence, and you, Baron, are the greatest hypocrite of all. You know that I am right. Executioner, earn your pay. You know that I am right. Dasade, can I do anything? I must... Your Excellency. Lord, and to what do... I have returned in the hope that you might have changed your mind. And you have done well to hope so. You have proven to me that I can trust you. I shall give you the support of my men for the attack on this infamous sanctuary. Thank you, Excellency. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord.
How are you feeling, my child? What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying he has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you, I was able to give my mother back to the Earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land, my people. I will be by your side. You will not go through this ordeal alone. What's happened to Constantine is regrettable. But you're doing what must be done. You're a good person, Greenblood. Then you can count on your old master of arms to protect you. We will all be with you. After all, this concerns all of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies, and you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. The entrance to the sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry. Dusade, glad to see you. Sadly, we couldn't stop your cousin. He suddenly stormed our position, along with a horde of enraged creatures. We didn't stand a chance. And now there are beasts attacking us relentlessly. My men are doing all they can to stop them. We thought it best to stay here to keep the path open for you, should you want to face your cousin. Thank you. You did well. I'll do everything in my power to catch him and stop him from carrying out his plan. Keep holding on as long as you can. I need to be able to reach him. Wait, there's a group of creatures coming. Maybe enlighten protect me in this battle. <laughs> Stay here with them, Greenblood. He's right. We must help them stop these creatures. Are you sure? Every minute gained is a minute that allows you to save us. Glad to have you with us, Kurt. Just like the good old days. And thank you too, Afra. It is an honor. Enough with the talking, Greenblood. Go. And stop Constantine. I'd hate to be doing this for nothing. In that case, thank you. And good luck to both of you.
There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here for nothing. Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us more. We won't hold very long. We're not used to fine creatures like these. We are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart, even if we must die in the process. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that, believe me. But here come some more beasts. Two arms! with my people and I'll stay with her one blade more can't hurt we need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks yeah we could use some help here to be honest I wouldn't have put it that way but the Moridigan isn't wrong you see over and done you should go now and may the volcano give you its strength well good luck the enlightened your cousin has already reached the heart our other allies inform me they are also trying to stop the creatures what do you intend to do pursue him all the way there and do everything I can to stop him in that case may the enlightened keep you in his divine oh no more beasts are coming be prepared I'm staying with my people. I knew you'd say that. Well, I wasn't going to let the young ones get all the glory. Your help would be a blessing, father. You see? You should go now, my child. Be careful. We are all praying for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful, too.
visited. Restrain him.
I'm sorry. Why? Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. This makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed, used, and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but... I've seen death, cousin. And I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power. Allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods. The immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of foicles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me. And we will be gods together, forever. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malachor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. Zieglinda took Kurt as an advisor, but he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend, watching his back as he always had. Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin. She leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls her Karantz. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkas's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his brother-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal, 
Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the Seaside Gnemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with the Renaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Duncas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians. Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. Following the investigations revealing the horrifying practices of Dr. Asili, the Alliance changed their methods and even appointed an ethics council to oversee the work of its scholars. By wanting to convert the natives at all costs, including by force, Teleme's only reward was their anger. Bogged down in the political maneuvers of the missionaries and the Ordo Luminis, San Mateus struggled. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Norts changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Under Sieglinder's control, the Guard returned to the honorable values that had made its reputation. Despite the negative influence of some shady members in their midst, For you, is you this the path of my descent the him. He himself. Oh. Could have predicted when my two young students left the port of Serene that they'd become the gods of Tiafredi, thus plunging the world into chaos. Certainly not me. So it seems that I am a poor teacher amongst those who had tried to prevent the ritual from taking place. Only a handful of dazed survivors remained helplessly facing hordes of creatures following the orders of the two cousins. Afra and Petrus, former rivals, fell together. They couldn't accept this treason from the one they believed in. As for Vasco, he managed to run away and join the Nort fleet. Rumor has it that he went to their island, his heart full of bitterness, and never left it again. With his help, Kurt managed to leave Tiafredi, but only to die on another battlefield. Siora had done well to go back to her sister, who tried to lead a rebellion for a while, but just like the rest of the clans, she eventually acknowledged the power of their new gods. Exiled from the island, all our nations sunk into a state of constant warfare each accusing the others of being responsible for their terrible defeat. The congregation is now on the verge of falling, and I have no doubt that the others will follow. The lives which haven't been taken by war will be taken by the Malikor. On Tiafredi, the Norts report that nature has reclaimed its rights in the cities. After a period of chaos that saw the death of many rebel islanders, the survivors reportedly all ended up acknowledging the power of the two cousins. 
But sadly, this is nothing but hearsay, since the news we receive is scarce and getting even more so.